Capitol Hill, former Prime Minister and African Union Special Envoy for Infrastructure, Raila Odinga's office in Nairobi's budding Upper Hill Financial Hub, sits pretty, complete with the full trappings of power. Odinga's office, now likened to Washington's Capitol Hill, the seat of the powerful U.S. Parliament, or a mini state house, has seen a stream of cabinet secretaries troop in over the last two months, as well as hosting cabinet secretaries in his Kisumu backyard. A sign that his role in government has become elevated, making it a key office in crucial government decisions. This handshake is going to go further and further, and it is going to, when elections come and do what? Go. We know that their handshake has got a purpose, and the main purpose is to unite the country. To unite the country and to foster equitable national development. Insiders in President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration, while attributing Odinga's trappings of power to the handshake, say he has earned the trust and confidence of the president to be entrusted with key government policy-making decisions. Analysts say the handshake arrangement in managing the country's state of affairs, despite the presence of Deputy President William Ruto, is akin to a silent grand coalition government in the making, only lacking the legal backing that governed the 2008 coalition government. What we have is a de facto coalition government. Um, maybe not as extensive as we have seen before. In two, past post-2007, uh, the LDP one in I think it was 97. But the, there can be no question that uh, if you look at the various uh, s s s spheres that government operates, uh, if you look at the executive, for example, I mean, you'll find, you know, ministers go to give reports on progress of work uh, to the former prime minister. In parliament, the, the ODM wing uh, is sometimes more supportive uh, of government, sometimes than certain components of Jubilee. So in a sense, there is no question that uh, post the handshake, uh, for all intents and purposes, ODM as a party became a party in government. Insiders have also attributed Kenyatta's shift of trust to Odinga, to his deputy's defiance on taking instructions on succession politics, war on corruption, and opposition to the Building Bridges team. The Ruto camp, angered by Odinga's recent orders to port officials and his growing influence in government, maintain he is still an opposition leader. It is a hate of absurdity. It is very annoying and shaming. Kwa ni tuko na president wangapi katika Kenya hii? Tuko na president wangapi Kenya hii? President ya Kenya ni nani? Deputy yake ni nani? Uyu jamaa na peana agiso kwa wafanyikasi ya serikali ni nani katika Kenya hii? Given his enhanced role in President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration, Odinga's Capitol Hill office is now being equated to a mini state house due to the high traffic here of senior government officials coming here either for consultancy or to receive instructions. Apul Kamau, K24 Evening Edition at Capitol Hill.